Welcome to the Turnpike Sports Spotlight. Dave Weishaddle with you. If you talk to anyone in the gaming industry, eventually you're going to hear the term G2E. Well, that stands for Global Gaming Expo, and it's an event that is very important to this industry. It's a place where you learn about new products in the gaming world, discuss issues affecting the gaming industry, and let's be honest, a lot of business gets done there. This year, it's being held at the Venetian Expo Center in Las Vegas on October 7th through the 10th, and we're going to hear all about this important event because on the line we have Corby Carrison, who is the event vice Vice President at G2E. Corby, thanks for joining us. Hi, Dave. Such a pleasure to join you today. Oh, it, it's a pleasure is all on us because it, the Global Gaming Expo is so important to the gaming community. But for those listeners out there who aren't familiar with G2E, can you tell us a little bit about it? What's G2E all about? Well, one thing that makes G2E very special is that it takes place in Las Vegas. Yeah. And at the core of it, Las Vegas is really where a lot of innovation and gaming trends are born. So we really take advantage of our location in Las Vegas and the timing in early October to really kick off a ton of interest in the, for what will be the, the coming year, close out the year strong mm -hmm. and plan for gaming operators and, and all of the things that they want to highlight in the coming year. So it, it's just a really special time for the industry to convene and really build on what they have achieved, especially since, since, uh, we have come back strongly in the industry post-COVID and really to build on the successful building blocks that we have undertaken in the last several years. So, so much is happening at G2E and we cannot wait to have our visitors come and join us again this year, see all that we have to offer. I'm glad you mentioned that, how it created an incredible atmosphere over the years. I mean, as someone who works as a gaming attorney, I've seen the incredible expansion of sports betting and, and the gaming industry in general. That's why I think it's so important for G2E. How has the conference evolved over the years? I mean, you alluded to that, and I'm just curious how you have seen it evolve throughout the years. Well, I, I've been in this chair for seven years, so things have changed yeah. a lot, even in the in the short time that that I've been working with the event. But one thing that hasn't changed is that we take feedback very seriously. So we we do a lot of post show surveys. We have a lot of conversations with a lot of stakeholders after the show, and we look at who attended what at. G2E. So we see some trends there. Oh, okay. On um, we see trends on what topics are important to people. Certainly, um, attendance in particular sessions indicates that. And sometimes there are sessions that we think will be popular, and they really aren't. And that's an indication to us that maybe we need to move in a different direction. So looking back and analyzing the previous year is always insightful. But a couple of other inputs that we have, number one, first and foremost, is our partnership, our, our joint venture with the American Gaming Association. There's no one more on top of the gaming industry than AGA. Mm -hmm. And we talk to them daily about what's happening in the industry, and they have a, a major, major impact on the creation of the content at G2E and on, on uh, identifying trends and where we think the show will go in the future. But we also engage with a committee that helps us plan our conference content along with a, a conference chair. So these are these are people in the industry, uh, very highly respected individuals from all over the world in all segments of the industry. And they advise us on mm -hmm. what they think is important. And they also help us analyze ideas that come in through the really um, probably the newest input into our, our process, which is our call for content. We open up a call for content in the uh, middle of winter, which seems <laughs> like, wow, that's a little early for an October event, but it really takes a while to analyze all of the ideas that come in. We open a call for content that anyone in the industry can participate in. We say, 
put put forth your ideas for session content. If you know someone who you think would be an engaging speaker, put their name out there. If it, if it's you, put your name out there. Mm-hmm. And we get hundreds of inputs from this call for content. So that's really valuable. It helps us have a really broad view of the industry and what is important and what what we should focus on in the coming years. You know, you actually predicted my next question because I always wanted to know how you chose your subjects and topics because, as I said, (laughs) working in the industry, I mean, you have hit topics that I have used throughout the year. You know, I have taken copious amounts of notes at some of your events, and and it's just incredible how I keep using them through the year. So uh, thank you for pulling back the curtain on that one for me, because I always wondered about that, (laughs) how how good you guys were doing that. But since we're talking about topics that will be covered, give give us an overview of some of the topics that we're going to hear about during this year's G2E. What can attendees expect from this year's G2E? Well, we always look for what is up and coming, what's next, what's performing. And one very, very popular topic last year was the topic of iGaming and related to that sports betting. So those two topics will be front and center again for G2E this year. Layer that along with different Um, a different lens that I like to look at all of our content through, and that's the DEI lens, just making sure that we are including diverse voices in the conversations at G2E. And from that point of view, we are really proud and pleased to be partners again this year with the Indian Gaming Association in some partner um, content creation and they review all of our sessions too. So we're we're seeing that the lessons that tribes have learned in their operations over the last many years are lessons that can be applied to the commercial gaming industry and also they they uh, evolve and help the tribal gaming community continue to thrive. So we love to have diverse voices from all sorts of uh, different smart people to to advise us. We engage with Global Gaming Women. We inv- engage with IAGA, the uh, International Ad- Advisor um, Gaming Advisors. Mm-hmm. They provide a really interesting viewpoint on regulatory issues. So we engage with so many different groups that really help us ensure that we are putting out there the very latest in in the gaming industry. So you'll be seeing a lot of those things. Mm -hmm. You'll be seeing a lot, especially this year, the hot hot button topic is AI. Yeah. How does AI impact iGaming, sports betting, commercial gaming, just the general the future of gaming AI is everywhere. So there are many sessions that are not to be missed and you will see that all over in the expo hall as well. Now this year, there are 12 program themes for G2E, which I think is great. Tell us something about that and what people can expect from these program themes. And do you have a favorite one? Is there one that I have to go and experience myself? So uh, I'm writing this down. So I'm taking notes to, uh, (laughs) so I have a game plan coming up. That is an excellent plan. You should yes. have a game plan when you when you come to G2E. Yeah, 12 themes. That seems like a lot to take in, right? Yeah. yeah. But we we get those themes and actually we have to narrow it down to 12 when we do all of that research. And when we get our our advisory board um, reviewing everything, it's kind of hard to get down to that 12. But what I think is really exciting is when some of those 12 actually overlap each other, especially when we're talking about DEI. I just, I, I, I came from the industry. I worked for, for gaming suppliers for many years before I joined G2E. Um, I worked in technology, in, in fintech, and I love seeing how those, how those industries continue to evolve, but then you layer on top of it a, a DEI angle, and perhaps you're looking at how female leadership is really making a difference in these companies. And that's where I think it, it, the magic really comes. So those are the sessions that I personally look for. And we do our best to 
um, pick out some that we think will will be interesting to a lot of uh, industry stakeholders. We record some of them, mm-hmm. and then you'll see them released throughout the year. Oh, so great. anybody who comes to G2E, who registers for G2E, um, or, or even if you're not able to make it, you can indicate your interest on Global Gaming globalgamingexpo.com and you will receive our newsletters which give you some of the links to our our previous sessions and first and foremost we do launch all of our keynote content on globalgamingexpo.com that's usually available within a couple of days after the show and those those keynote discussions are so um, high level, just amazing speakers. Bill Miller always giving the state of the industry address is something that you just can't miss. If, sure, if you're, absolutely. you care about this industry and you care about where it's going, you want to see where we've been and, and where the trends are headed. So in addition to uh, Bill speaking on the industry, we're lining up some really special keynote content that isn't announced yet that will be coming <laughs> soon but it's it's i promise you industry leaders that are are top notch and will have really interesting things to say at G2E this year Corby, I have to figure out if you're looking over my shoulder because you just looked at another <laughs> question I was going to uh, going to ask. I, I, there is so much to see at G2E and so many great people to hear from. If you miss a speech or you miss a panel, I, I, you just answer. Will you have an on-demand section that they can go to and hear their presentations at a later time? Because it, mm-hmm. it, it, there's a lot of great information and you really don't want to miss a thing anyone says there. It's true. And it, it is it is difficult to get everything into your schedule because as, as you look at the week and it's a whole week of activity, um, you also have to allow yourself a little bit of time just to kind of digest everything that you're doing, uh, plan for what's in your coming day. And then you never know when you're going to have that happenstance meeting with somebody in the hallway. I mean, everybody in the industry is at G2E. You're going to see people that you haven't seen maybe in a year. And you just, you never know when that Mm -hmm. one connection is really going to happen that really makes your business for the whole year. So it's, it's those things that are really special about G2E. And you're right. You might miss a session that you really wanted to see. So we do our best to try to make as much of that accessible as possible. But um, you can't ignore how important that networking aspect is at G2E. Oh, it's, it's something that we're, we really try to put opportunities out there for people to connect with other like-minded individuals. Some of those networking opportunities start even before the expo hall opens. We have a <laughs> keynote address on, on Monday afternoon. It goes straight into a networking reception at five o'clock on Monday, and that's open to everybody. So yeah. that's a, a great place to make your very first connection with people at G2E. And then you, you may be surprised at who you connect with throughout the week. Mm-hmm. We have a lot of opportunities for that networking um, all over in, in the expo hall and in the conference program. Well, tell us a little more about that. Since you're talking about networking, it's such an important aspect of G2E. Are, are there official networking events at G2E? or I, I got to be honest with you. The whole conference is one big networking event. But are there official networking <laughs> areas or events that you have at G2E scheduled? You're right. G2E is a, an amazing network e- event that really convenes the entire industry. And yes, we do have a couple of planned areas. Okay. One of them is the lab, which is an area on the expo hall floor where we are featuring content that everyone is welcome to attend. And the content that's in the lab is really very highly innovative, very forthcoming, new tech uh, newer companies that are doing some some quick hit, almost TED Talk like uh, mm. sessions. Oh, okay. So check out on globalgamingexpo.com under the education section, 
and you can uh, click on the lab and it will sort those sessions for you so you can see what's coming up there. But each day in the lab, we also have targeted networking. So check out that schedule and make sure that you don't miss targeted networking. I know that we're doing something especially for affiliate okay. groups connected to iGaming and sports betting. We're also doing some networking around game developers and how that space is changing, especially as as more business goes online and more online uh, jurisdictions open. But really the highlight of the networking at G2E is happening in the networking lounge. That's an area that we introduced a couple of years ago at G2E. And sometimes you try out an idea and you're kind of not sure how it's going to go. Well, the networking lounge was bursting at the seams. And we just, we had people spilling out into the aisles as they were connecting with others. So we had to move it to a different area of the expo hall so we could make it bigger. And at that same time, we were able to engage with even more groups of people who wanted to get together. Mm -hmm. So we... We, first of all, work with some of our very important partners like AGEM. AGEM holds their annual awards in the networking lounge, and they'll do that again this year where they recognize um, leaders in the industry who have really made an impact for years and years in a couple of different categories. So that's something not to be missed. And also we partner with an organization who recognizes the emerging leaders of gaming and the top 40 under 40 leadership that are up and coming in the gaming industry. So that is, that's a highlight always to go and um, hear who has made the list for the year to meet some of these individuals. And it's, it's amazing the energy that's in this space as you're meeting these, these leaders who are, have, have been engaged, engaged in the industry for a while, but you just, by being in their presence, you realize this is where the future is going and so we use that opportunity to connect with them and with others and, and really celebrate where the industry is going. We also work with African-Americans in gaming. We work with a pride group and we'll be, we'll be hol holding um, happy hours for both of those groups at G2E. So not just about connecting on a business front, but connecting on a personal level because like you know, having been in the industry for a long time, the people in this industry are unique and like no other. They're so talented. Mm -hmm. They are so giving and coming together to celebrate that and meeting new, new, new folks in networking opportunities is just something that's really special about G2E. Now, for me, I think G2E is an amazing learning process and a learning incredible learning experience and i think the education program is one of g2e's most important show offerings what can you tell me about this year's education sessions well based on popularity from last year we have actually expanded the program a oh, little wow. bit okay. so we're up over i want to say it's about 82 sessions in the core program and then if you add the sessions that we're doing in the lab, we are over 110 sessions wow. total. So going into topics like iGaming, sports betting, we are offering 16 sessions that cover off tribal gaming all by itself. Um, lots of forward thinking on traditional gaming on on where just the future of gaming is going mm -hmm. and how different specialized disciplines within gaming such as marketing the marketing is something that is so important customer retention how to develop your customers these are all really important topics leadership is really important to cover at G2E as well and some of those groups that we work with that I mentioned earlier there's no one better to partner with on on leadership than somebody like uh, Global Gaming Women. They're very focused on on developing future leaders, and all of that content is is something that we really find 
uh, we're very pleased to be able to bring that forward at G2E. Now, I've said that G2E has been evolving as the gaming industry has evolved. Is there anything new at this year's G2E that might be different from the past and from last year's G2E? Well, you, something that you saw at last year was the introduction of our new brand. Mm -hmm. That was something that we worked on for over a year. And we introduced last year, we feel like the brand is really representative of the industry. It's fresh. It's forward thinking. And that's something that we're really leveling up on the look and feel of G2E for this year. We just make such great efforts in making sure that the show itself is representative of the industry. Due to overwhelming feedback, we have expanded our iGaming zone. So there was so much activity in the iGaming zone last year with the coming together of operators in that space and solution providers in that space. We felt like the area needed to be bigger. It needed to be celebrated. It will be highly recognizable. So that is another something new that you'll see at G2E this year. You know, one of the fun things for me to do at G2E is walk around the exhibitors room where they set up a table and have information on their companies. And it's, it's a lot of fun. And I don't think I have to purchase a pen for the rest of my life because I have them piled up here <laughs> in my office. Tell me about some of the exhibitors that people can expect to see when they attend the conference. You know, exhibitors really cover every single angle of what you would need mm -hmm as a gaming operator or someone with a stake held in the industry. So the the first and foremost, the biggest attention grabbers are those large gaming manufacturers yes, that yeah. also have, uh, have verticals in the online gaming space and in sports betting. They're just, they're in every single vertical that you can think of, electronic table games, uh, traditional table games. Those stands that the uh, gaming operators put up are simply amazing. Yeah, yeah. And not just the stands, but they work all year round to launch new products at G2E. Yeah. Products that really run the gamut of, is it a slot product, a table product, um, business intelligence products are are something that is very important to the industry and may not seem like an obvious um, bright and shiny showstopper. Mm -hmm. But if you talk to the right person about what they need to drive their business forward, that may be exactly the one thing that makes a big difference for them. So certainly those large exhibitors always have very exciting things to see. There are many, many others across the entire expo hall floor that may be a hidden gem of yeah, something yeah. special that you're looking for. And the, we see just such huge innovation taking place across the entire expo hall floor that um, it does take you all three days to get across there and to, <laughs> does, to yeah. visit all of your target areas. But that's part of the reason why it's so important to plan your visit. You, you need to check out what's happening all the way across the expo hall floor and, and plan your visit either on the G2E mobile app or on the website in advance. So you don't miss anything. It's uh it's so much for your feet. It's so much for your mind to take in. But you have to remember that that physical presence is is once a year. And while the, the show lives on year long in all of the, the, the uh, work we do and the things that we achieve, make the most of your time. Make sure you plan that visit mm -hmm. and um, take a look at the exhibitor listings you can sort by what's important to you and make sure that you don't miss a company that might really make a difference for your business. Now, people in, in this industry go to conferences all the time, all around the world, but, but G2E is pretty special. What, what makes G2E so special? Why is it that this conference is so important for the gaming industry? You know, G2E taking place in Las Vegas mm -hmm. is very important to the industry. It's where... So many trends originate, and this, this it, 
a lot of people actually come to G2E early or stay late so they can visit a lot of the uh, different casino operators because they just want to see what's new at the Las Vegas casinos. It's such an important place for people to convene and share ideas, meet each other, all under one roof. That's something that's really unique about Las Vegas. About, about G2E, everyone is gathering at the Venetian. You can go to the show, you can take in the education, you can network, you can stay, you can eat. There's, there's just so much that can be done under one roof. And that also makes G2E really special. Now, where is G2E being held this year? And if someone wants to register for G2E, how would they do that? And where would they go to register? G2E is being held on Monday through Thursday, October 7th through the 10th. The Expo Hall opens on Tuesday, October 8th. It's taking place at the Venetian Expo in Las Vegas. And all the information that you need is at globalgamingexpo.com. You can register there and you can plan your visit as well. I got to ask this. For someone attending G2E for the first time, it, it could be a bit overwhelming. By the way, people who have attended it 10 times, it's still probably overwhelming. What do you suggest they see? And maybe we haven't covered in this interview. Give, give us a kind of a roadmap for that first time attendee. What should they do when they arrive at G2E? Because there's so much to do there, so much to learn there, and so much to experience there. You know, you might be looking over my shoulder right now because <laughs> this is something that has has our team has been working hard on this exact thing. Mm -hmm. So if you go to globalgamingexpo.com under experiences, we have a number of different what we call guides. Okay, and these good. are really journeys that different people, depending on their area of interest, can click on. And you can plan your visit, whether it's, you know, I'm into sports betting. Here are some exhibitors that can't be missed. Or along with that, the conference sessions you have to see and the connected networking, all of it together right there. And this year for the first time, this this is one I'm really excited about. We have a first timers guide. Oh, OK. So we came together with our attendee advisory board, which is a, a group of um, really uh, industry veterans who have been attending G2E for a long time. And we asked them, do you remember your first G2E? What was it like? And they said, so many of them say, oh, it was overwhelming, or I'm so glad I had a colleague with me who could really help me navigate because it was a lot. So we said, you know what, let's put something out there on, on the website. We made a little guide out of that. Oh, wow. I didn't know And that. That, that advisory board gave us so many ideas. So I'm going to encourage you to go there. Some of them are the ideas like make sure you wear comfortable shoes, <laughs> drink a lot of water. But some surprising suggestions that came, came about were from our, from our non-U.S. Uh, members of the committee. And some of them said, hey, Make sure your calendar is synced in the right way, oh, okay. because if you didn't set up your meetings correctly in your calendar, you might miss them. Oh, wow. OK, that's that's not something that I would have thought. of. I, right? I, I, I would mean, not I, have thought live, of that at I, all. <laughs> I, I live in Vegas, so so I'm in my I am in my hometown when I go to Las Vegas, but not everybody is. So mm -hmm. go and hit that um, first timers guide. And it will give you some tips and tricks. You'll see some of those advisory board members. And I think there's something there for everybody to learn. Corby, we're running out of time, but can you tell us again when G2E is and how people can register for the conference? Absolutely. G2E is being held October 7th through the 10th. The Expo Hall is open the 8th through the 10th. So that's a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And you can register and get all of your information at globalgamingexpo.com. Corby Carrison, Event Vice President at G2E, thanks so much for coming on and telling us all about the Global Gaming Expo, which is being held from October 7th through the 10th at the Venetian Expo Center in Las Vegas. You can check them out at globalgamingexpo.com. It's going to be an incredible conference, and I urge everyone to check it out. Thanks for coming on and telling us all about it. Thank you, Dave. That'll do for us this week. We'll see you next time on the Turnpike.